This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 7, APIs and Function Parameters, Part 9. Moving relative to the screen. The turtle commands we've seen so far move the turtle relative to the turtle's location and direction. If you want to get the turtle to a specific position on the screen using only move forward or turn left, you need to know the turtle's location beforehand. Hmm. Two new commands in the toolbar, toolbox help resolve this issue. Move to moves the turtle to a location on the screen based on its X and Y coordinates. Oh, but we don't know those. Turn to turns the turtle in a specific direction. Together, these commands can make many drawings easier to complete. All right. Do this. Read the documentation for move to and turn to. Pay special attention to how the coordinate system is arranged in App Lab as it is different than you might have seen in math class. Oh, look, you see XY here if I go up to the top? Oh, yeah. So Y is actually zero at the top. Interesting. And then going down, oh, wow, Y is four, almost 450 at the bottom. So this must be is X zero over here? Yep. And X increases? Yep. And X goes to like 316 for me. Okay, cool. So, but we need to know that Y0 is at the top. Let me go look at move to and turn to. Click here. Yep. What is its parameters? X and Y. Got it. Interesting. All right. So, draw a smiley. Oh, tricky. Use these new commands to help you draw the smiley face picture below. Hint, you really can't do this one without using pen up and pen down. Oh, that would make sense. I'm glad they said that. That would have driven me nuts. All right, so we need to draw that smiley. All righty, let's go. So first, we got to do the background first because you want to... It draws the first code... It draws code in order. So let's go ahead and pick our color. That looks like light blue to me, so I'm going to say that. And then I'm going to use dot for our background because we don't have a background command, which I bet we will get. Okay, and then let's pick our color for the smiley, which is clearly yellow. And then I need another dot. Ah, uh, no. And if it's almost the whole screen, I'm going to say 250 maybe? Because what did we just say for X? Let's test. No, 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 no. Oh, way too big. There we are. That looks a bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to need to do pen up. I think. And I need to get to the eyes. So maybe if my radius is 150, that means it's 150 to here. So I'm going to go over maybe, maybe 75. Let's see. Turn left, move forward, and try 75. Turn right. Move forward, 75, pen color, and then we need a circle or a dot. I'm going to say radius 15. Uh, this is probably wrong. Let's see. Oh, hey, that's not bad. Mine's set to go super fast. Okay, so I'm thinking 20, whoops. I'm thinking 25, and instead of going forward 75, let's try 50 and 50. Maybe 20 then. Perfect. And then probably, which way was I facing? I'm going to be facing that way, so I'm going to turn right and move forward maybe 100. Nope. 
Oh, I could do that. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it'll be easier to do that right now. Because then I can get it perfect. So I probably want an I at 100, 185Y. So let me move. Oh, that's going to be so much easier. Okay, I can get, this is what's great about move forward. I'm getting rid of all of this. And now, move to, I was thinking 185. Let's see if that works. Definitely not. Maybe I flipped them. Oh. Reset. Right here. 180. Okay. Then. So I think X needs to be more. Oh, that is perfect. Okay. And then, where do I want to go to? So, 185 still, and then 200. I want to change that to 100 and see. Let's try this. Hmm. So the circle center is 160x. Okay, so it's 160 to the edge of the screen, so 150. Oh. Perfect. And now a smile. Smile is probably going to be here ish. 255, 250. And then I need an arc. What if I don't? Hmm. That's why we lift our pen up. Pen up, then move. Okay. All right, we're getting there. And we want a radius, not as big as our face, so maybe 100. I'm thinking if I use a arc left and I turn, let's see, let's try this. No turn right. Let's try it without the turn right. Okay, so let's see. We turn left.
Uh oh. We're getting there. But uh, one eighty and twenty. It's beautiful. So that's what I add. And maybe let me add a little bit to X on my smile. Perfection. That one was tricky. So many parameters that we're controlling here and you have to get the code to execute in the right way because remember if I grab pen color and drop it here, code runs in order. So the thing on top is what gets executed first. Unless you have a function. Watch, watch, watch. Bye. Oh, is the pen color up? Oh, we didn't draw the dot. Ah. <laughs> Let's show that again. There we go. Bye, smile. So code always is executing in order. So getting that order right and getting your parameters just perfect. And these are, well, these are arguments, but they're being used as the parameter. Anyways, that is what I got. Tricky, tricky. Oh, yeah, turn two. Oh, right. Okay. So make sure you use turn two. I'm going to keep working here. Where I can use it, it's better to use it here than this turn left thing, which is confusing. So turn two, boop, angle. I think that's going to be 180, but I'm probably wrong. Let's test. Oh, it is. Perfect. So turn two is super handy. I should have been using it right there. Well, now I am. So this is the code that worked for me.